Okay, so for a while I've been wanting to show this off for a bit and I've just forgotten to always bring like the extra camera or something to bring with me. And this is actually take two because when I tried to go previously, it locked up on me. So Wiggle Wi-Fi is kind of an app that's actually a pretty cool tool. It does, picks up a lot for you and does quite a bit. So you've got two ways to basically install it. Oh, <clears throat> if you go in through F-Droid, that's one way to get it. So you can look for Wiggle and you'll get this here. Um, this is the FOSS version and it kind of has like one small downside, but that's like that. Or you've got the Google Play option, which you can go in, wiggle Wi-Fi, and it's the wiggle war driving. So <clears throat> the first thing you'll kind of notice is there are a lot of different networks that pop up when you run it. So you can see a few different networks that come up. I've got like hotspot and things like that. <clears throat> so that's your network list. That's generally the first screen that comes up. Then the next screen is your map screen. And this is kind of where all the cool stuff happens is you can see like a layout in points of where Wi-Fi networks and things pop up. So you'll see Wi-Fi networks up here that are detected, cell towers, and then Bluetooth devices. So the next thing is your dashboard. You'll see like your different runs, your new devices or Wi-Fi's and what all, and then like the duration of the run. So I've had a few or previous run because of trying to record this video previously and then locking my phone and then it just not wanting to save the video. So yeah, your database screen is kind of where you can do query for like different devices and things or sort things out in the app, but it also lets you export as a CSV or a KML. And so you've got a couple options. You can export the entire database or you can export an individual run. So in the current run, if you sit down, you finish the run, you're in the car or whatever, and you want to export that one run for like maybe a certain area, you can do that right here pretty easily. And then you can back up your entire database and do a couple other things that way. So here's your search again. You can see like points of like where it was on the map or look over the whole database overall. Your Wiggle News is kind of where the news shows up. So you've got different information about Wiggle and things that come up that way. So like they've parsed 6 million files. And yeah, so if you... So different people can submit their database files. And Wiggle has a whole database for educational purposes of different Wi-Fi networks that are open and so on. So then your statistics is kind of where your user statistics are and rankings and all that. So if you've got an account on wiggle.net, you can upload there. You can upload straight through here. And then you've got settings right here is where you can go in and do stuff that way and change settings, how things look, and so on. I kind of wish the FOSS version of it used OpenStreetMaps, but anyway, we can't have everything. So you can see, I can see different cell towers and like a Wi-Fi hotspot. As I start walking around, which I plan on doing here, you'll see more networks pop up and then more Bluetooth devices. So as I take a walk around this park, for example, I'm going to get different networks and stuff that's going to pop up on my for this current run. And a run is basically defined as like from the time that I start the app up to when I hit exit. So if I tap exit right here, it's going to close the app and um, end the run that I'm currently in the middle of. So we're going to run through that and do that. This is again on Graphene OS, so the on the Pixel 5. So it's going to be a little bit different than my Pixel 7, which I'm recording from here. So I will take a second, do that, and then be back. Okay. So we should be right there. Actually, I need to use this other finger to do it. Okay. So we've got a lot of data points from just walking around here. So as you can see, there's not much here to see. But if we go to the dashboard, which will make it easier to see, We've got 
basically a lot of stuff that we picked up. So we've got obviously our GPS data, Bluetooth devices by far. Oh, if I open up the map, we can see that like I had a pretty good route going on here, kind of thorough. So there was a point where I realized, hey, I don't have my Bluetooth turned on. So I turned it on about right here. So as I am walking around, you can see I still pick up like a few Wi-Fi devi like devices here, some networks. <clears throat> you can see like Netgear, Fishernet, Netgear, Xfinity Wi-Fi. So there's some default Wi-Fi's going on here. Um, <clears throat> and we've got a couple others down here. This is kind of like the city's recreation stuff. The BCP B is what it looks like. And then, yeah, BC Rescue Diver. So right here where I turned on the Bluetooth, we might be able to see a few more. Come on, buddy. So yeah, you can see that it also breaks out. So as I go along here, you can see like, okay, <clears throat> we've got quite a bit going on here. Come on, pop that open. Okay, never mind, doesn't want to do that. Let's see if we open six networks. We've got the six that shows up there. We've got seven, six, eight, seven, seven, ten. So it kind of gives you a pretty good spread of like where things are at and shows you your path. So we can see as we come around here, I'm right back where I started. Um, basically kind of go up around here and around and so on and I think yeah it gets pretty rich up here because you've got like the line of houses right along here that kind of give a lot of points and then like you've got various people fishing here as well so you can see some of that and then you know of course you go back around and then you go down this way um so right up here is kind of where you can see where the pickleball courts are and I only did that loop once, but once I came back around again, so when you've got a baseball game going on here, you get like a lot of points to work with. So it's not necessarily all networks. It can sometimes be Bluetooth devices that are picked up and that's where a lot of it comes in. You can see I hardly get any back here because all the baseball courts for the most part, let's see, yeah are kind of like congregated around here, the infields and all that. So you kind of get it closer to here. So all the people are kind of like in the center here, whereas out here you get less of that, but you still get some of the railroad here. And then you kind of wrap around here, around the pool and so on. And then back through for like another pass here. And then, yeah, so here we are. And you can see, again, we've got UP, UP, TP-Link, Netgear, TP-Link. So default names and whatnot. Let's see, dual eye plug. I have no idea if that's a butt plug or not, but it's another Bluetooth device. So you pick up a lot just in this here. Let's go to the database. Um, let's go Bluetooth. And let's query the local database. No query specified. Darn it. Um, network list. So let's kind of pause the scanning here. So we can pause just like that. You just tap the little like indicator there. So what I want to do is find where Oh, my stuff went to. Because I can see it right here. Um, yeah, let's go to query. Let's go to show. All. Um, let's go. Uh, 
Okay, looks like I've got nothing going. So there's no WEP stuff. If I go to, let's show Bluetooth. Okay, so here's our fair number of devices on Bluetooth. See, we can get some more specifics. And these, oh, MAC addresses, are we can narrow it down depending on the device. Not every device is gonna show you stuff. Let's see, not your Wi-Fi, FBI surveillance van. That's pretty good, anyway. Um, I was sniffing out your stuff, so good on you for keeping that, but not so good on you because, you know, can track that down. Rangar, Royal with cheese. See, it's very interesting. Um, let's go, let's show open. Yeah, so we can see we've got a wide open set of stuff going on. So, it's well, it does filter enabled. Okay, so we do narrow that down quite a bit. So we can see we've got Xfinity Wi-Fi, bedroom display. So someone's TV in their bedroom is like wide open. Snydernet, guest. Um, I'd still put it, if it's not like wide open, better at least have a captive portal on it. Um, but yeah, you can see that when walking around, you get quite a few data points. But yeah, wiggle Wi-Fi is pretty cool. And then again, if I just want to end the run pretty much, I can hit exit and then it'll save that. If I wanted to export the run or the entire database in this case, I could go into settings or wait, no, it was database X CSV export because I prefer that. And then I could do quick share or not, but I don't want to do that or okay. I should show the screen better, but yeah. So, yeah, we can do all kinds of cool things with it, upload it to wiggle.net. And yeah, that's Wiggle Wi-Fi in a nutshell, sort of, ish. Again, educational purposes only. Don't do anything too dumb with it. Oh, uh, this, so wiggle.net, again, is for educational purposes, for security awareness purposes, privacy awareness purposes, and it's kind of cool what they do. So keep that in mind. Don't abuse it. Although if you're doing a job, then it's probably good to use it so that you can be aware. The company you're doing a job for can be aware of what is open in their area. If you enjoyed the video, then like, comment, subscribe, feed the algorithm, boost the video up, share this video with your friends. If you found it informative or you just want to chat i've got plenty of places in the description discord gilded and what have you check those out and i will see you guys in the next one